Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be honoring my Korean heritage and creating a fun Korean makeup look for you. So it's all about the base y'all. So it starts at the foundation which is your face and your skin. So you'll find that the Korean makeup look is pretty much just a glowy um, luminescent skin and not a lot of color. The only pop of color that you'll see is generally on the lips and also heavily lined and mascara to eyes. So let's get started, shall we? So you wanna start out with a freshly washed face and with pore control powder serum. I'm gonna rub that over as a, and as a primer, face primer. And then I'm gonna use an eye primer on my lids. Then an eyeshadow primer um, potion underneath for the concealer. We're going to be doing a bit of contouring. Then we're going to use the Professional Pore Minimizer to kind of minimize any large pores. And we're using a Race Paste Concealer to hide any uh, dark circles and also to hide my age spots or sunspots as well. Also using this uh, as a contouring, highlighting contour as well. I know this looks a little crazy, but you'll see at the end it'll be fine. And then I'm using a darker uh, contour stick by Milani to kind of darken areas that I need to contour. And then we're using CC Cushion um, Foundation to blend, blend, and blend all over to give that nice CC cream look and a uh, sheer. And I know it looks really, really light, but once it mixes, once we mix it all in with the contouring and the highlighting, it will all blend in. Then I'm taking the, a lip lock pencil to kind of um, prime my lips so that there's no bleeding because with Korean makeup there is a lot of gloss. Then brushing the eyebrows because with Korean makeup uh, you want to have the least amount of arch as possible and to have them thick and kind of drawn straight across. Using a brunette brow powder because that's how you can get the straight, you know, uh, angle on the eyebrow, and using an angled brush as well. So you want to apply it with light strokes. Take a, a Q-tip to just kind of uh, even out the ends, or just kind of smooth out or crisp up um, the ends. But remember, keeping in mind you're not wanting to create an arch, but more of a straight across thick effect. Then I'm using some white gold cream eyeshadow in uh, gold, and I'm applying that, and I'm going to blend that because. With Korean makeup, they do a very light eyeshadow, and they don't do all of the contouring um, like we do in the West. So it's just one shade applied on the entire lid, as you can see. So it's just kind of like a hint of color. Then I'm using a waterproof gel pencil to line my tear duct. 
and the color is it's kind of like an it's a beigey color. Then I'm using a tear eyeliner. Okay, so where I'm applying this eyeliner is what um, Koreans call the tear line, so which is right under your bottom lashes. Just using a, a Q-tip to just kind of smooth it out. Then I'm using a black eyeliner and lining heavily as close to the lash line and the tear line, the upper, uh, this is called tight lining, um, the upper part of your lid. So this will give you the appearance of darker, darker eyelashes. going to um, wing this out a little bit and you can um, go heavy on the eyeliner if you like um, that is kind of the trend as well then I'm using a uh, blusher that's a cushion blush so as you press the cushion on your face the powder comes out and this is in a um, corally color. Then the lip liner that I'm using is the same color as my lips. And then I'm using a um, mascara. And I'm putting that on generously. Then I'm using a lip stain uh, first, and I'm going to stain my lip, and it, it's in an orange color. Then I'm using a YSL lip color, I believe it's in number 15, and applying that in the center of both the upper and lower lip, and then I'm just spreading the color out. So it's kind of an ombre where it's darker in the center and then lightens as it goes out to the corners. And then on top of that, I'm going to apply a lip gloss. So Korean makeup um, gloss is very um, favored and popular. So you'll find most uh, K-pop stars and K-drama stars will have highly glossed lips. And then just a little bit of powder um, on my T-zone area and then spraying with a setting water mist. And that's it. This is a look of the Korean makeup tutorial, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. 감사합니다. 안녕히 가세요.